Hello good people, Ibar here with Hardware Connects, and as you can see, I have speakers in front of me. And believe it or not, speakers are a very crucial element when it comes to a desktop setup, because sometimes if you want to enjoy the moment when you're listening to music or something like that, it's always good to, you know, switch things up a little bit and switch away from using our headphones to something like a speaker setup, because it fills the sound, it fills the room, and it really does uh, create a pretty amazing impact when it comes to listening to music or even gaming uh, in some cases. Now, I do want to acknowledge that we've done a lot of speaker reviews in the past and typically most of them are on the expensive side. So we wanted to do something a little bit different this time and check out some speakers that are, you know, within different price range. So, you know, ranging from 20, 30 and $40 price points. And we handpicked uh, some of the best sellers on Amazon. Uh, and of course, these things are in stock. So that's pretty amazing. And we wanted to check out and see how they sound respective uh, to their price point. Now, I'm also aware that it's back to school season and for students who are planning out their dorm room setup. Uh, and if you're looking for something a little bit on the compact side, but also you don't want to break the bank, well, stick around because you are going to be surprised with some with what some of these speakers are going to be offering for their price. So let's get into the details right after a message from our sponsor. Uh, hello, I'm looking for some fans. Well, are you married? Uh, yeah, I have a ring. What is your favorite number? I would say three. Do I have the perfect fan for you? This is the new Thermaltake Ring Trio 12 fans with good static pressure for radiators. It is a beautiful frame with double side and center ring illumination with soft and super bright spill with Razer Chroma compatibility. Control it through your smartphone, the RGB Plus software on the PC or Amazon Alexa. Well, I'm gonna take these home. Perhaps you should too. Check them out in the description below. All right, so let's start with the cheapest pair, the Logitech Z200, priced at $20. It's a very basic 2.0 stereo speaker system. Uh, the design is fairly simple, nothing too much on the aggressive side, uh, and it should complement both an office or a home desktop setup. The build quality is fair for the price. It's entirely constructed out of plastic materials, so I would handle it with caution. Each speaker outputs five watts of RMS peak power, resulting in a total of a 10 watt delivery. There are two active and two passive drivers to enrich the stereo experience, but I'll get into the sound quality a bit later on. And as for controls, there is an easily accessible power slash volume adjust dial, a headphone output, and an auxiliary input, all on the right channel speaker. And to round things off, the Z200 features an adjustable bass knob on the right side speaker to add or eliminate the lower ends. Now, what I really appreciate about the Z200 is the uh, slightly angled drivers for better projection because um, there are some speakers out there that are just uh, straight up flat. So you, the sound will actually face your chest rather than your ears. So having them uh, slightly angled is of, of course a better way to experience sound because at the, at the end of the day, you can have the best possible speaker system, but if you don't have them oriented that well, then the whole experience just wouldn't add up. So that's just something that I want to point out. And lastly, for connectivity, Logitech has included a power adapter to power these speakers. And uh, it also comes with a 3.5 millimeter connector. Uh, so you can connect it to your cell phone or your laptop. Nonetheless, as long as you have a device with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which I'm sure most modern smartphones don't do, uh, you'll be fine. Next up, we have the Creative A250s, priced at $30. This is a 2.1 desktop speaker system, meaning it comes with a dedicated subwoofer to enhance the bass response. Uh, I was really surprised by the compact form factor of both the satellite speakers and the subwoofer by itself, which by the way is downwards firing. So if you're living in an apartment, I'd go easy on that volume. I think this would be an excellent option for compact desk setups because the two satellite speakers are super tiny and cute. And here's a shot of it next to my Pixel 2, and you can clearly see what I'm talking about. The build quality is about the same as the Logitech Z200, mostly plastic body with a glossy finish at the front, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. And as for controls, there is a power slash volume dial on the right channel speaker, but unfortunately, you don't have a headphone pass support or an auxiliary input with the Creative A250s, which I thought was a little bit disappointing because the Logitech system comes with that, but this doesn't. So that's something to keep note of, but nonetheless, it's a pretty compact setup for $30. Lastly, we have the Cyber Acoustics CA306. It's priced at $40, and this is yet another 2.1 speaker system. The setup is slightly bigger when compared to the A250s, but it should still be sufficient for compact spaces. The build quality is no different when compared to the other two speakers. The front side of the satellite speakers feature a glossy finish, which can again scratch easily and attract fingerprints. Uh, the included sub is front firing, and for connectivity, there is a single 3.5mm jack, which connects both left and right speakers. 
you also get this control hub uh, that conveniently lets you adjust the volume and other things. Uh, looking at it, you can certainly tell it's not built really well, so I'd go easy on it, but it gets the job done. As for controls, the top dial functions as your volume adjust, uh, then you have a headphone pass-through port along with an aux input and a bass adjust dial, which is something that the A250s lack. And I think this control hub is a pretty cool feature because if you want to adjust the volume and if you want to play around with controls, uh, you don't have to fill around with the satellite speakers because with some of these guys, uh, you'd have to adjust the volume uh, by reaching towards uh, the speaker, which might be a little bit on the inconvenient side. So this is certainly a nice touch. Uh, and of course, that's something that you'd expect for $40. So having looked at all three speakers, how do they actually sound respective to their price point? Let's start with the Z200s. Uh, they sound very basic for a 2.0 speaker system. You can definitely pick up the vocals, but when you're listening to say EDMs or uh, music that emphasize a lot on the lower ends, uh, you can certainly tell that there is a lack of a dedicated subwoofer because it's not that powerful and pronounced. Expect some sort of distortion at certain frequencies. So keep your expectations pretty low with this uh, speaker system because again, it is very basic. So for $20, um, it gets the job done. Switching over to the Creative A250s and wow, I was literally blown away by the sound coming out of a $30 2.1 system. That dedicated subwoofer just completes the listening experience. The lower ends are powerful, but that being said, the higher ends are clear and balanced. I was really surprised by the way how the tiny tweeters handled the vocals. Regardless of the type of genre that you're listening to, these speakers won't disappoint because uh, that extra $10 difference between the Z200 and the A250s is just so massive. It's like a day and night difference, um, you know, upgrading uh, to something like this because, you know, the tweeters are amazing. They're super compact and I was very surprised at how they sounded for the cost uh, and this subwoofer man, like, Wow, it's it's really amazing. Moving on to the cyber acoustic system, there is great detail in the higher ends, vocals are clear and pronounced. The bass response is powerful, but surprisingly, it wasn't as good as the Creative A250s, or they weren't as clear, uh, if that makes any sense. Now, when you play around with the bass dial that's included in the Convenient Hub, uh, it actually just increases the bass uh, volume rather than actually giving you a much more of a tighter response in the lower ends. So again, it just doesn't feel as uh, pronounced or as tight compared to the A250s. There was also little emphasis on the mids, meaning I wasn't able to pick up certain elements uh, from a soundtrack that I typically listen to, which I was completely able to with the creative speaker system. So overall, you know, it sounds great, but I think it lacks the whole cohesive aspect when it comes to putting together the higher ends, the mids, and the lower ends, because at the end of the day, you want a speaker system that sort of completes that experience. Having switched from the A250s to the cyber acoustics, I just didn't feel like I was blown away for that extra $10. Now, just for fun's sakes, I revisited my closet and I pulled out the Razer Noma Chroma desktop speaker systems because those are priced at $150, the Chroma version to be exact. And I just, you know, switched back listening to the creatives and uh, the Razer system. And the one thing that I can tell you right now is the Razer uh, speaker systems, you know, they're a little bit on the flatter response because you can definitely pick up the lower ends and the highs and the mids are very clear and pronounced, uh, but you know, you can definitely tell that there is a lack of a dedicated subwoofer. If there was this dedicated subwoofer with that setup, it would obviously be a lot better compared to the creative uh, speakers uh, right over here. But uh, I think, you know, for $30, this system just gives you an all around package because I think personally, uh, it sounds, this extra subwoofer just adds that extra uh, oomph when it comes to gaming, because when you're firing gunshots or when you're moving on through the gameplay, when you're, you know, chatting with your friends or something like that, um, it really does make a big, it makes a world of difference with a dedicated subwoofer. Now, one of the downsides when it comes to adding a subwoofer to your setup is cable management, because believe it or not, these two systems have the most amount of cables compared to the Z200 speakers, because again, this is a basic 2.0 setup. So, Cable management shouldn't be a huge concern when you're working around with these speakers uh, compared to you know, the creatives and the cyber acoustics. So that's something to keep note of. Now, I'm not gonna be doing a sound test comparing these three speakers because for one, uh, they this is, again, it's not a um, comparison video because these three speakers are priced differently. Uh, but secondly, you know, you may be listening to a pair of headphones that are not optimized. And of course, I have this microphone won't, that won't be able to give you guys a real representation as to how these speaker systems sound. So if you do get a chance, if you find them in a local retail store, say, you know, at Best Buy or something like that, 
uh, highly get a chance. I would recommend just, you know, listening to them, uh, checking out for yourselves. And if you're satisfied, then you can go ahead and pull the trigger. Now, I do wanna conclude this video by saying that this is not the end all be all uh, of desktop speaker systems because there are a lot of them in the market. In fact, I haven't even, this is just me scratching the surface because I haven't explored a lot of the other cheaper options. So if you do have uh, certain alternatives that fits this criteria, definitely leave a comment down below and we'll perhaps revisit you know, those systems in the future. But for now, I have to admit, this $30 Creative A250s have surprised me by a huge margin because uh, if I were looking for a set of budget speaker systems, um, I would wholeheartedly spend $30 and pick this up uh, rather than spending $20 uh, or even $40 for the cyber acoustics because uh, these are compact, they sound phenomenal, actually a lot better than cyber acoustics. And so, uh, yeah, this is, just, this is just an instant buy. So I hope you take away something from this video. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, speaker roundup, uh, I'd say. I mean, what do you guys think about it? Are you actually interested in picking up the uh, Creative A250s? And if you are an existing user or if you own one of these guys, how has your experience been like? And of course, don't forget to leave comments on alternatives uh, as well. I'm Ebar with Hardware Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our new Boot Sequence channel for the latest tech news and rumors. And of course, you can watch some relevant content over here. I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.